How's it folks? I'm Robbie from RBC. Today we're going to discuss um, stanchion tubes and stereo tubes, um, the problems that we have with them and the solutions that RBC has to solve all the issues that we found with stanchions and stereos. As you can see I have a range of, uh, of stanchions there as well as some stereo tubes, some awesome tools from a company we distribute to for which is ND Tuned. And I've also got some examples of wear and tear that I'm going to go through with you and show you how to solve those problems. In this video we've got some very interesting uh, issues which we're going to discuss. The first one being uh, a customer who bought a second hand fork. He's uh, got a bike which is a 1 and 8 stereo tube bike um, and the fork that he bought is a a tapered steerer. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually put a 1 and 8 steerer tube in so he can fit the fork onto his uh, bike. But we're also going to upgrade the fork to a solar air. It's a rock shock, so we're going to upgrade it to the solar air, which means that uh, he's getting the dimple on the air side of the, uh, of the fork. The second customer has been complaining about creaking stanchions. So what we've done is we've actually pushed out the stanchions already. Uh, we're going to put them back in with some special glue, um, which will solve his problem over here. Uh, the next customer has uh, just purchased a new bike and he wanted to transfer his really cool fork, which is the uh, Fox Factory, with a Kashima coating to the new uh, bike. Uh, but the steerer tube was too short, so we're going to replace the steerer tube um, and we're also going to solve his creaking issue. And last but not least, we will discuss and show you how to solve the problem of the uh, damaged uh, stanchion and I'll show you how we replace them and refit new ones. Uh, we're using a 12 ton press uh, for this operation. Um, this uh, press will make sure that uh, it's safe to push the stanchion tube and stereo tubes out of these uh, CSUs as well as put them back in safely. Um, what we've done is we've loaded the machine with our tool set from ND Tune and we're actually going to push this out now. Best place for these right now, in the bin. Okay, we've taken out the old stanchions. We're now gonna put the new ones in. Um, I've actually pre-prepped this already. So I've cleaned the inside here. There's no oil or grease, it's very clean. Um, I've used a special fluid that I have um, that makes us ready for the press fit that is gonna take. Probably gonna go up to about five tons on the press fit. Um, just to make sure that it's in there and it's nice and tight. Okay, I've just pushed the tubes in now. Uh, let me talk about ND Tuned, a uh, Portuguese company. We deal with them. They're uh, with the distributor in South Africa for them. Uh, they manufacture the tubes to their tolerances and spec. Um, they actually use a 40 micron thick coating, which is double the spec called from the OE manufacturers. Um, so the quality is really good. The hardness is there, and uh, it's a great upgrade for any fork. All right, so now we're at the point where we're going to push this stereo tube into the crown. Uh, there's some special tools required for this operation. It's actually quite dangerous because we need to make sure that it's in properly, but also the pressure is going to get really high um, on the uh, press. Um, so it's uh, important that you understand how it works and also that you're sure about that you're using the correct tools. Okay, so we've finished all our work for today. Uh, the last one you've seen us doing, uh, we were busy fitting the stereo tube onto this fork. We've since uh, fitted the, the stanchion tubes with a special glue, so no creaking on this one as well. All done, ready to go out. Uh, next one we did was this one. The customer was complaining with creaking. Again, we've, uh, we've refitted these stanchion tubes with special glue and no creaking in these at all. Um, and last but not least, the customer who bought the second hand fork that had a, a taper steerer but he needed a 1 and 8. We fitted the adapter and the straight steerer and we also upgraded it to the new solar air system for him. So he's ready to go. As you've seen in the video today, we were easily able to work through a number of scenarios uh, cost effectively and safely uh, to extend the life of your suspension fork. Uh, if you have any issues, please feel free to give us a call. 
Let's chat about uh, how we can uh, help you and what solutions we have for you.